Robin and I just love to help people who are just struggling to make it through each day feel better so that they can fully participate in life's great adventures. And part of being able to do what you want to do is having enough energy. It's super important. So I want to talk a little bit about how to boost your energy naturally. And one way that I find works so well for me is exercise. And I don't know if I would have believed it before I started, but it's true. And so all you have to do is get started and keep going and you'll see the changes for yourself. So exercise gets your blood pumping. It helps your bring more nutrients to your body. It helps your body work better. Um, if you have tight muscles, it can help move those around, loosen them up so the blood flows better. Oxygen is utilized better by your body. Basically your body is just going to work better. And you, if, you, if the idea of doing like a super hard workout is holding you back, you feel like I'm too tired, I don't have the energy to exercise, there's just no way I'm gonna make it through an exercise, you actually can start out really with like a low to moderate exercise and really um, start there and, and work your way up. That's a great way to do it. If you start with more intense exercise, you're probably gonna feel tired initially when you're first done that exercise, but then about an hour after your exercise, that energy boost is gonna kick in. And you know that studies have shown that if you go for a 10 minute walk, 10 minutes, like not a fast walk, not a run, I'm just talking a walk, your energy levels are gonna be increased for two hours for a 10 minute walk. Isn't that crazy? So it's really, it's, it's probably the best way to boost your energy levels and if you are not getting active, I think, it, and you are, don't have much energy. I think it's so critical and I get it. It's hard to get past that first step You know you go to do a workout and you feel like you're climbing Mount Everest barefoot You just can't do it or at least that's how I felt when I first started working out um, But it wasn't long when I after I kept at it that I was finding that I didn't need to have That giant bowl of ice cream that I used to eat every single night after I put my kids to bed So that I could keep going. I actually had energy, okay? So, you know me, I like to show you some exercises. So I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do, super easy things that you can do through the, the day to um, just boost your energy. Okay, so if you don't have any time and you're feeling just wiped out, I want you to just do one thing, one simple stretch. You're gonna find a doorway. You're gonna put your hands up and you're just gonna lean forward and stretch. And this is really gonna help just put everything kind of back in alignment so that your nerves and your blood vessels and everything have lots of room to function properly and you're gonna feel better. So you just wanna do that stretch. Hold it for 30 seconds to a minute. Do it as often as you need to. See, I feel better already. Okay, and if you have a little more energy and a little more time and you wanna do a little bit more, I'm gonna show you three easy moves you can do. Super easy. Um, the first is a waist Hinge. So you're just going to bend forward at the waist and hinge down. Stretching out that, the hamstrings, we have a lot of tension in our hamstrings just because of the way we live our lives. Try to touch your, your palms to the floor. If you can't do that, touch your fingertips. If you can't do that, get some books or something and rest your hands on there. Okay. And then bend one knee and stretch, stretch the other and then switch. And you're gonna stay down here for about 30 seconds and get a really good stretch in your hamstrings, okay? So that's the first move. Second move is just knee drops. So this is gonna open things up for you as well. So you can do it on the floor, you can do it on a bed. I'm just gonna show you on the bed because it's easier for demonstration purposes. So you're just gonna lie on your back, knees up, let your knees drop to one side, your upper body stays straight like this, and then take a few deep breaths, and then you're gonna to switch to the other side. Oh, it feels so good. And you're gonna do that about five times per side, okay? So really open things up. And now the next one, just interlace your fingers like this, and all your, your this time your lower body is gonna stay still, and it's just your upper body that's gonna move. It's gonna twist from side to side. So you're gonna do 10 and that's one. So to both sides is one rep. So that's two. And you're gonna go up to 10. It feels so good. And if you're stiff at all or sore, 
like most of us are from you know the, the things we do in our daily lives which are a lot more sedentary than our bodies are meant for this is gonna feel good okay I'm gonna stop now even though it feels really good so you want to do ten of those okay so that's the next series you can do if you have a little more time and a little more energy if you have even more time uh, you don't even need more time for this you just need a little more energy it's gonna be a little more active but still not very intense. So the first move is super reach. So you're gonna lie down on your stomach, and this one works great on a bed, but you can do it on the floor if you, if you want. Um, I have my legs hanging off the edge of the bed, and I'm just gonna flutter my legs while I reach forward, and then reach back. That's one, two, three, okay? You're gonna do 10 of those. That feels good as well. Next is a goblet squat. So we, I'm gonna use a weight for this. You don't have to, you can do it without a weight, but you're gonna hold it like a goblet, which is why it's called a goblet squat. You're gonna squat down, come up, and twist. And again, it's gonna open things up in your back. And you're gonna do it 10 times, so that's gonna be five turns to each side, okay? The last one is a fun one. It's a single leg hinge. So arms up in the air, reach up, even that feels good. And you're gonna stand on your, I'm gonna stand on my left leg, my right leg is gonna go back and up as I reach down and touch the floor and then come back up. And you're gonna do 10 per leg. Okay, so that's, let's say we did 10 on that leg. You're gonna switch legs and same thing. Awesome. And if you feel like you want more intensity, then go for it. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't matter the, whether you start with low intensity, moderate intensity, or high intensity, you're gonna get more energy from it. So just get active, get moving, and it can make you so much more productive during the day. So I would love it if you would uh, let me know what you thought, if you tried any of these moves, and if, if you felt more energized. And the key is kind of sticking with it. And there, there's the um, studies have shown that even 20 minutes, three times a week of low to moderate intensity exercise over six weeks has a really significant uh, impact on your energy levels. So don't forget to like and share this video because we all could use more energy in these crazy busy lives we lead. So I hope you all have an amazing day. Thanks for watching.